Okay, so I thought I'd give you guys a quick rundown on the latest updates to the Iris calculator. Um, so what we've got is, uh, as soon as you load it up, you've got the, uh, the Iris that closes down, just to give you an example to begin with. Um, and immediately you'll see that we've uh, begun uh, creating a, a side view to give you guys a, a bit of a better idea of how um, the Iris is assembled. Um, certainly one of the many ways you can uh, assemble an iris um, it's it's at the moment it's it's in beta it's pretty basic but uh, um, it'll, it'll give you a clue at least um, so I guess I'll show you that first um, you see down here we've got a blade thickness option um, this is the uh, you know this, the thickness of your blade material um, and that'll determine the uh, the, the, the cavity, cavity space that you have between the uh, the inside face of the body and the inside face of the actuator ring. Um, so I'm just going to go and create a 50 mil iris. Um, we have a maximum aperture of 30 mil, minimum aperture of two. And I'm going to crank that up to 12 blades. Um, and because I've got the outside diameter defined. Um, I'm going to let the uh, iris calculator determine my wall thickness for me there. So I'm just going to click calculate and there we go. It's generated the, the new iris for us. Uh, closing it down. Uh, so you see on the right here we've got the uh, the new side view. Uh, you can just about make out the, the, the blades uh, in there um, and the actuator ring and obviously the the housing the body there so um yeah the usual visual buttons here um will turn those uh components on and off for you um they, it's 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 fairly basic at the moment but like i said earlier it will give you uh, an, an idea at least of how how the iris is assembled uh, we're going to be adding in um uh, a cover as well um, or some kind of retainment method so you can uh, um, perhaps down the line have, have the option of um, you know determining the kind of uh, assembly style you'd like to to use um, but for now it's uh, it's okay uh, so we've also got uh, another new feature um, which allows you to change the component that's got the slots in um, I mean just by default it's always been um, the body that has the slots. Um, the, there's the option of having the actuator ring to have those slots in them now. Um, if I just open it up, um, that's the other cool thing at the moment. We've we've added some uh, some keyboard shortcuts. So now if you press O, you can open and close the the iris. Um, P for pause. And uh, the feature that I'm just talking about uh, is the slot feature. And by pressing S. Uh, you can change the uh, the slot configuration, so it either goes in the actuator ring or in in the body as it was before. So if you open it up and change the slot configuration, you can see that the handle is is moving from one end to the other, and the either the slots are moving uh, or the uh, the pivot holes are moving. So yeah, log in, give it a try, um, see what you think. Uh, if you've got any feedback, then uh, feel free uh, to, to email us um, or contact us through the contact form. All right, enjoy.